Good luck. Enjoy your retirement. Come and see us sometime with Stephen Foster. Whenever you want. I'm going to edit it nice and oh. undorky. So oh, if there's make a beep, undorky. If you okay. go beep, 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 I'll make it. <laughs> okay. You'll make it undorky. Okay. Yeah. Golly, Phyllis, I can't believe you're leaving. Um, I hope you'll be able to sit and rock like this and enjoy being retired. I'm really going to miss you, and I told Phil I wouldn't cry. So have a wonderful retirement, and remember us always. Bye. 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 Well, that's obviously going to be edited out. <laughs> oh. No, I turned it off. Okay, whenever you want, you can just start. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to shrink this down to a nice, quick little... Hi, Phyllis. Happy retirement from the Williams office. Hi, Phyllis. I don't know what I'm going to do without you next year, but I'm going to find your home number, and I am going to call. Please don't change it. Just remember, I'll need you still. I will miss you a lot. Have a good time, though. I don't know. my hugs. Are you going to show that anywhere? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to give it, we're going to edit it really nice, get rid yeah. of the, get rid of the awkwardness and make it really nice quick snippets of everybody saying goodbye okay. or whatever. And uh, give it to her on her graduation. On graduation day. <laughs> okay, tell me when you're ready. Whenever you are. Oh. Phyllis, this is your friend Gloria. You know I'm going to miss all those hugs and kisses that we've had for a long time. But I hope you'll stop by and still give them to me. All those hugs and kisses. Take care, I love you, and I'll miss you a lot. Bye. Did I do good? Excellent. Isn't it? Yes, it is quite a job. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, or whenever you're ready. No, I already did mine. Oh, okay. Mine oh, oh, you can... Come on, you repeat. <laughs> okay, I'm going, so whenever you want. You're going? Yeah, I'll just... Phyllis, first of all, uh, I want to say to you, uh, have a happy retirement uh, and enjoy the time that, uh, time that you have off. And two, I'm jealous. I I'm jealous that you're going to be home by the pool, snacking, doing all the things I wish I could do. And I don't know how many years I have left, but at least uh, I'm glad that you are, are, are uh, out and going to be having a good time and enjoying it. And we're, darn it, we're going to miss you. And uh, so enjoy yourself, have a good time. And uh, hey, uh, it could be worse or better. Why don't you guys all get together and just get it over with, say, Happy Graduation, Phyllis Watson, or Retirement. Retirement. Something. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Okay. I can get Darcy's yes. image from Reflection Off the Clock. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you Do you not interested? Okay. Okay. Right. Do you guys want to just go ahead, do Donna? Okay, Donna. You can all duck like behind a counter and just have your head show. Okay. Ready? Yeah. And is it running? It's been running. It's been running. Okay. Yeah. Phyllis, Phyllis, enjoy what? your retirement. Phyllis, who though? Only kidding, Phyllis. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> got that on too. And I'm not lying. <laughs> okay, you guys are just far, far away. Happy retirement from Las Flores. Yes, I really oh, love you. Oh, yeah. Cool. And I'll leave you here and I'll meet you back. Okay. Up. Thank you for doing that. Okay, let's see if we can. I'm going to have to back up just a hair here. Let's see here. Okay, I can get everybody now. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'm I'm filming now, so I'm gonna trim it down okay. to the appropriate size. So, whatever you want to do, I'll just. Hi, Mrs. Watson. This is room nine and ten at Las Flores School, and we want to tell you. Happy retirement! And we're very jealous, but we know you deserve it. Beer blower, a big kiss. <laughs> And what do we say? Thank you! Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, room 9 and 10. <laughs> Tell us when. Okay.
Whatever you want to start. Happy retirement right. from the front office at Las Flores. Are you ready? Yeah. Whatever you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Happy retirement from the office staff at Las Flores, and we will miss your wonderful, cheery voice on the phone, and we wish you the best. Thank you, and make sure that again, Phyllis, that you give us a call, and at least we can go over some numbers when you get a chance. <laughs> and go to golden years. Bye. Great. Looking good. Hey, Phyllis, I hear you're not going to be with us much longer here. Boy, I tell you what, you're making me jealous. Uh, I've known you for a few years, and I really wish you the best. As you can see that uh, I'm, I'm hard at it just like you always are. I hope you get to travel and have a good time in your retirement. And come back and see us sometime. Let us know how it's really like on the outside. Thanks a lot, Phyllis, for all you've done for the district. We all love you. Bye. Okay, let's well, see if I can... Her. Well, you guys say what you want to say, if you want to say anything. Are you on? I've been on. <laughs> No. Good luck, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Have a great retirement. Congratulations. Hi, Phyllis. Keep us in your thoughts. Enjoy what your your new job as retirement. Don't think about us. Don't think about <laughs> us. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And we we envy you. Right. We all wish we could be with you. We'll have to lunch. <laughs> you know how wrong Phyllis, do you have time to? I got it. Cute. Okay. And then I have Fix these the copy things. machine. <laughs> Thank you for the early, 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 early Christmas gift. I will never forget receiving it in November. Now that's planning and quite disgusting. Thank you for training Ed and Brian last year and this year for all of us. And please call them once in a while and check to see if they're on task, if they're still on task. Thanks for your efficiency, pre-planning, and fantastic coordination skills. I will, we will miss you so much, but know that your husband has waited patiently for a well-rested, energetic wife to enjoy retirement with, as well as a few other things. Well, anyway, we love you. Oh, the bell just rang. Goodbye or something Oh, uh, like okay. All right. Wow. That's you really? You, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Come on. We're gonna Are you going to read all this? That's what's going to be funny is because Margie and I and Marlene oh, are going to be going like that. <laughs> okay, in here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's you want to be a part of theirs or uh no uh you could just catch okay. uh, nancy and and we see it. Well, wait a minute we have our notes we have our notes okay. here's our notes right here all right are you ready i'll do the the thanksgiving thing because i wrote them a nasty uh, okay. note about that all right all right okay so we're going to do this and you're not going to see us right off the bat or all of us okay, all right. okay. It's just spontaneous. What, what's my what's my Job. Just well, sit here and film, right? Okay. As soon as I say go, then you click the thing. Okay. okay. I'm going now. Oh, good. I could. Are you well, on? Thanks, Phil. Yeah. I hope you can cut well, before now. Oh, out. I'm editing. I'll, I'll, <laughs> okay. I just okay, want to make sure go. I get, One, don't miss two, anything. Three, you ready? Okay. Okay. All right. Did you find everything? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, wait. He's here to see you. Oh, oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. Oh, oh, hi, Phyllis. Just a minute. Okay, here you go. minutes here. For, we have our notes. There are so many things we want to say to you, Phyllis. First of all, what I want to say is I want to say thank you, Phyllis, for your very, very early, early, early Christmas gift this year. I will never forget. Will you forget that, Marlene Margie? How early it was. We received it in November. It was so wonderful, and it was really quite disgusting. You guys are so good over there, especially you, Phyllis. You're the one that put it all together. Thank you very much for that early Christmas gift. Next. Oh, yeah, this one. Definitely. Without you, oh, this Oh, gosh. Thing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank uh, you for training Brian and for training Ed last year and this year. But you do have to come back and check up on them because we don't think they've learned everything they need to know yet. You know it all. And you need to call and make sure that those guys are on task. Because the minute you leave, Phyllis, I'm telling you, Margie, it could be a disaster over there. Well, definitely. I, I agree. And Phyllis, you know, I need to thank you for not only helping me as a mentor, but uh, when I was over in the IPP office, you were definitely one of the people that trained me and definitely 
tried to keep me in line. And by the way, do you have time to fix the <laughs> coffee machine in the other room? It's got a really bad jam, Phyllis. And you know, nobody else knows how to unfix it like you do. Or fix it like you do. Absolutely. And Phyllis, you know what? Lee and I are going to meet you guys for dinner, not on a Friday night. And we're not going to have clam chowder. We're going to go someplace really nifty. Sounds good. Well, you know what, Phyllis? We will all miss you very, very we're much. Our eyes and out. we know that your husband has waited long. Oh, no, here's it's Steve. Steve. Your Thanks husband so has waited long and hard. He wants an energetic, restful wife. And now he'll finally have one to enjoy his retirement with. And, I might say, a few other, other things. things. Okay, Phyllis, we love Bye. you. Bye. Have fun. Can I have that tape? Okay. Let's see here. Okay, a little good light in here. Let's see, are we... Might be close you, to you. You have to make sure that it doesn't make you look bad. Oh, I get the... Okay, yeah. there we go. Okay. Okay, anytime you're ready. Okay, Phyllis, congratulations on your retirement. Uh, I know you're planning all kinds of good things, and I wish you lots of luck in doing them. We've had a lot of fun working together, and I'll miss you a lot. Hi, Phyllis. <laughs> she's, she's probably going to comb her hair or something. I have combed mine. Oh, it looks perfect. Does it? Oh, good. Okay, yeah. put me on. Hi, Phyllis. Am I on, Phyllis? Well, do you want to do it by yourself? Or? <laughs> I really she won't yeah, do it unless she does it. I want to get her. That's Live a long time. Take advantage of that CSA retirement. Take all the money with you. Best wishes. Right, Vicki? Right, Rick. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, Phyllis. Bye. I miss you. Okay, Phyllis, you just start whenever you feel like it. Hit it. Go. Phyllis, we're going to miss you. I know you're going to miss those enrollment reports and us calling you about kids. Phyllis, we're going to miss you. I wish I was there. Yeah, I wish I was there. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Best you have a life. great retirement. You deserve it. We're going to miss you dearly. Don't, don't film. Don't film. Not, not today. today. She's just not Aww. in a good mood. So we'll have... Okay, Rick, tell me. Are we on? Well, it's so lunchtime. As soon as you want to start, go okay. ahead. Go. It's lunchtime, and we are doing a toast to Phyllis Watson, who has been here since God was three, and I know because I was right next to her. And we hardly ever had time for lunch, though, and Phyllis, things have not changed. Here's our Diet Coke, and our cheese, and our apple, and it's 20 after 1. I hope you've had your lunch. We are going to miss you so much. You have just meant so much to uh, to every department and uh, your great grandmother too. So you better keep in touch with this grandmother. Um, I'll see you at your retirement dinner, of course, and wish you many, many, many uh, positive returns of the days and years. Emil, Oscar. I agree. We didn't know you were coming, or we would have baked that cake, you know, and eaten it too. See you later.
Are they pretty cute readers or mom? Great. <laughs> it has four legs. Everyone is a tail. Boys and girls, what do you say for the reading materials? Thank you, Mrs. Watts. We want to say thank you to Mrs. Watts for helping us in our discourse. Listen, clap once, clap twice. Remember that we have all the things that we have. Many things are due to her influence in our district, and we want to thank her for everything she's given us. And thank you for letting me be an Ella facilitator so I could teach these children to read. Have a good retirement. <laughs> Phyllis has done a great job. We're going to miss her. Okay. Truly. The, all right. Yes, you just start whenever you want to start. Oh, okay. Can I start? You, you already start? Started? Bye, Phyllis. I'll miss you. You have to come visit me and go to lunch with me, okay? Bye, Phyllis. We'll miss you, Phyllis. We'll I'll miss, miss you calling you, yes. finding out, giving you new students, old students. We will. It was fun. <laughs> Bye. We'll miss you very much, Phyllis. Okay. That's all. I don't know. She's just such a sweetheart. Phyllis, I don't know. Yeah. She says, I need to comb my hair, she said. We have to think of what we're going to well, say. I know. I just, I was over there just talking to her. Um, Whatever. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, we were just talking about what we're going to say, and Edie wanted, Edie said for sure she wanted to say this, which was, she's going to cry. That's what she told me <laughs> she's going to do. Oh, I just, I just love her to death. I don't know what we're going to do without her. Hope she has a wonderful retirement. We... One thing I notice about her, we don't have very many anymore, complaints that is, but when she gets complaints from Ramona, when she gets complaints all day long, she never loses her cool. Never loses How her How she cool. ever does that, I do not know. Plus, she always has food. She has candy, always, and she's never, she's always sipping from a Weight Watchers cup, and I eat her candy. I think there's something, you know. <laughs> she's a very smart lady, and, and smart. she's so sweet, and we're going to miss her just tremendously. Wonderful so. person to work with. Very much so. And talented, how she, you know, those numbers that she keeps? The numbers. I still don't I could do her job. I could not. I, I could not. I don't want her job. <laughs> well, Bye, Bye you, Phyllis. Phyllis. Uh, uh, Randy? No. Come on out. <laughs> Randy's like, now I'm going to be the. Miss <laughs> Okay. All right. Anytime you want, you may start. Hi, Phyllis. Uh, this is Judy Reyes representing Somerset High School, and we would just like to wish you every success on your retirement. We've appreciated everything you've ever done for us, and the name Phyllis Watson will truly be missed. Again, good luck, Phyllis, and hope to see you soon. Congratulations. Perfect. Hi, Phyllis. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> now, you may start at any time. Feel I'm free. Phyllis, we're going to miss you. You have no idea because who am I going to have lunch with now? Just Linda. Not that Linda's not great, but not start over again. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to edit it. That's good. You, know. That's good. you have to start over because okay. then I feel bad. Go you ahead. I just keep going. I'll just cut the, that off. <laughs> Phyllis, we're going to miss you, but we know you'll enjoy your retirement. So have a happy retirement. I'll oh. miss you at lunch. And I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, but on behalf of the Bay Center, I want to thank you for all the instructional support materials that we have. And, and uh, it's been a wonderful year for me. And, and again, I haven't had a chance to meet you, but wish you the very, very best. Heard lots of wonderful things about you. So you go, girl. 
Phyllis, on behalf of the Center and Student Adjudication, we really appreciate all the support uh, you've given us with the permits and with uh, everything you've done in providing us the supplies we've needed in a very calm fashion. So you just have a wonderful retirement and the next half of your life. We're going to miss you. Bye. Can you yes, erase you these lines in these bags? Really? Yeah. Take okay. all that out. Let's see. Oh. Compare the eyes. What are we saying? Uh, we're saying, um, Phyllis, thanks for living, really, leaving us really, back in this. Really, Phyllis. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kathy, Melody, Melody, how are you? No, Melody, how are you? What? Well, I just didn't know. I didn't say no, Melody. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, we're trying to explain all of Are you ready? Oh, I just oh, left are we going to? Where are the young and my Listen to that. Get her on the phone. Uh huh. Okay. Turn this in. Okay. Okay. Shelly. Shelly's gonna get her natural pose on the phone. She's always got that phone in her ear. I called Laura. She did with my pen. And then you just mark. Did you hate that bill? Well, they didn't take a couple of hours. Yeah. They have no, no sensitivity to the people at the district office. How hard they were. Ms. Dwyer? Actually, it's the other way around. That's our Ms. Dwyer, call the office. Ms. Dwyer, call the office. The answer is our cards. Okay. Who is that? Right. Ms. Dwyer. Yeah. No, we don't. The answer is car cards. Car cards. Hi, Tom, you went wait. the wrong okay. Are we ready now? I'm ready whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse us for filming. Get over here, Shelly. Here. Shelly, I'm there right now. So I told him I'd send you a cat. 18 steps to 20. Oh, he is on Okay, um. Okay, Phyllis really, Jackie was not rude. That okay. It was Shelly. Uh, I am. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, so when they call, whatever they said, it wasn't true. She's well, rude every day. <laughs> and was, every day she comes. You know what I put up with here. And we have. And I try to keep six children straight. to put in That's six grade. Wait, we don't want them send them to Okay. okay. You notice that I can't get a word in Android. Is that correct? It's these two. Oh, the yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, but she talks too much. Shelly, you leave us here. Leave us here in this. I can't believe you're doing this to us. Okay. You got out while the game was good, yes. Phyllis. Okay. And, uh, but guess we what? could join you. We're still going to get a paycheck. Is that what you're doing right now? It's so she. In the office. That's yeah, she's going to be great. Okay, rewind. All right. Okay, are we ready to come inside? No, Phyllis is really ready. Let's just hear it. I didn't come in here. Are we? Is it recording? Yeah, I've been recording the whole time. Okay. Okay, now it's for the real show. Okay. Phyllis, we love you. We do. We're going to miss uh, you. And We're thank you for you. all your well, patience was, and numbers. I had two numbers. You gave I can't twice, add right all the time or remember, the first but one and I did enjoy calling. You know, and I know you won't believe this. Sometimes I'd call and be kind of, you know, just rambling on. Uh -huh. and I, I know you, mm -hmm. you probably can't recorded? relate to that. Yeah, no, you've um, never done it to me at all. No, I've never <laughs> seen that sign And she just listened in real patience. We'll miss you. And Phyllis, I apologize for these two ladies. Phyllis, I really do apologize. These two ladies, you know, I'm sorry that they pulled the plug. See, I can't even talk. Phyllis, I love you. Bye bye. Have fun. We love you. We love you. Okay. I love you. I love you. I you. I love you. you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I I love Rehearsal? Yeah. <laughs> like you pretend you turn it out okay. and you don't. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What do you mean? Before you turn it out. Before you pretend to turn it out. Uh, well, how about we just say good luck and congratulations on the retirement? That sounds nice. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Good, good luck, luck and, and congratulations, congratulations on your retirement. retirement. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye.
So whenever you want, you just go right ahead. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now, Phyllis, I just wanted to wish you a very happy retirement. It's been nice working with you. And uh, many happy returns to you and your family. You now, speak for the service. That was a close call, so. Wait. Woo! Wait, wait, I can't get, all right, there we go. Who's retiring? Who? Who? Phyllis Watson, have a wonderful time! Yay! Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, will you guys all have to say something with me? We'll miss you. I met. <laughs> oh, it's pretty on that one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. okay. This isn't done, I'll just play my head. No. It isn't, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll trim it down. Who's retiring? Phyllis Watson. Have a wonderful retirement. We'll miss you. Congratulations, fellas. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck, fellas. Bye. 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 Okay, now <laughs> we're done. So there's no back row. Okay, so whenever you want to start, just go ahead. No, I would like to thank Phyllis. Uh, maybe everybody else can blame her because uh, Phyllis is the first person I met when I came back into town and Phyllis brought me the first flyer over a year ago for the school district and uh, so she's responsible and I want to thank her very much and everybody else may not thank her but I do. Phyllis we just wish you the best retirement you've uh, been great in the time I've been here very helpful and uh, we're all gonna miss you. Phyllis thanks a lot for helping me get acquainted over here and all the help you've given me with my projects, and I'm just looking at a wonderful, wonderful retirement. It's, it's a pleasure to know you. Have a nice future. Good luck. Uh, yeah, that's okay. for sure. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> good light. Yes, very good light. Okay, so whenever you want, just go for it. Phyllis, have a great vacation. We'll miss you. I'm jealous. Wait, Phyllis. wait, time out. Vacation. Time out. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Phil, I said Phyllis too, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's right. That's yeah, what yeah, it is. okay. You get me confused here. But I said vacation, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Go ahead. Go. <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. I have a great retirement. I'm jealous. Phyllis, we will miss you tremendously. It's been a pleasure working with you for this uh, brief, short three years. Uh, who's going to do those J7s and those class size allocations while you're gone? I'll bet you worry about that a lot, right? Yeah, like Sheila, I'm jealous too. I know I'll be worrying about those class size reports. Please leave all your knowledge with whomever takes <laughs> over and think about us once in a while, but not too often. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We're done. Perfect. <laughs> Let's add a little oh, yeah, it's the best thing. Gets Are me in trouble, though. Okay, we're, we're going now. But I'm going to trim it up, so okay. just so I needed some leaders so I could trim it up. So okay. go right ahead. Okay. Happy retirement, Phyllis. Happy retirement, Phyllis. We build futures in Bellflower Unified School District, and you've been a wonderful part of that. You've assisted us a great deal. Now go enjoy that future you've built for yourself. Have a great time in your retirement, Phyllis. It'll be fun, I know. Tell us we have so many great memories back to instructional services. Do enjoy your retirement. You certainly deserve it. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful time and come back and see us lots. Bye, Phyllis. Bye. Come back, Phyllis. Enjoy. <laughs> Are my glasses. <laughs> Are you ready? Don't no, smile too much. Look at now, she's got color. <laughs> I've, I've had a stressful morning. <laughs> All right. Phyllis, it's been great. Hope you have a wonderful retirement. I'll miss you a lot. Happy retirement, Phyllis. We'll see you later. Phyllis, I've enjoyed knowing you for the short time. You've got a great sense of humor. Enjoy yourself. Thanks, Emil. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. What else to do? Say goodbye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Have a great retirement. Bye, Enjoy. Joe. <laughs> Bye, Joe. <laughs> Enjoy your re retirement dinner. See you, Joe. Don't <laughs> let the door hit you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Peanut gallery. <laughs> okay. Tell us when you're going to start. Okay. And what are we to do? Well, this is for Phyllis Watson's retirement. 
So you can just say um, whatever. I feel as we appreciate blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. And you could all say it together or randomly or. Oh, we say, I feel as. I yeah. want to say, I've got to say something okay. special. Okay. Okay, go ahead anytime. Bye, Phyllis. Bye, Bye. Phyllis. Bye, Phyllis. Sorry, Sorry you're retiring. retiring. Well, I'm envious, but have fun. Have, we'll miss you. We're going to miss your help. I'm going to miss your help with staff development and the flyers and getting my special ed kids into the classes. I really appreciate you taking the time, a little extra effort, to help us get our kids placed. See ya. Bye. I am going to miss you, Phyllis. You're the first person that I that was my friend when I came in the district. You were very kind to me. Oh, I, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm gonna cry. But I want <laughs> you to know that I'm gonna miss you. And you know why. Have I'm fun tiny. with your grandchildren, with your children, and do come and visit us. M11 to M4, Ruben. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Yes. Take care. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, just start and just say yes, it's Tom. for Phyllis Watson and she's retiring. Those are the points. Okay, just <laughs> we got it. go we ahead. Got Phil. Bye, Phyllis. We're going to miss you. See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Yes, have fun. Have We're jealous. We're jealous. <laughs> you must have audio, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Phyllis. <laughs> Pieces of thin, springy plastic inside. And when the strip is placed correctly on your nose, the plastic lifts upward and outward without pinching. It's gentle pulling so you're breathing through your nose instead of your mouth. I usually take seven to ten nights of constant use to get full results. By the way, if you don't see improvement, be sure to see your doctor. Green right nasal strips are completely drug-free, so everyone can use them without worrying. <laughs> I wish everybody had been saying, turn that off for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not exactly what I, I, need, I need some uh, bloopers for the end. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be the winner to see this. Bloopers? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone has just been saying, uh, good luck, wish we were you, we'll miss you, um, uh, know you're going to have a great time, Th just things like that. Some people went on and on and on, and some. I'd like to tell. Phyllis, someone cried. I'd like to say thank you for, for Phyllis to be on the interview panel that hired me. <laughs> we'll, start with that. we'll start with that. Okay. <laughs> okay, and I'll I'll trim it all up. I was going to put some little bloopers and laughing at the end, but with no audio. I'm going to lay a track of nice music on it, but it, it's like the credits, but without credits. You see all the. People laughing, but no audio, because you know, be how, nice. How long is your total presentation? Well, I haven't started <laughs> it yet. I'm gonna so how long we go right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anytime. Am go I for on? it. Hello, Phyllis. <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. I'd like to say, Phyllis, I'm glad you were on that interview panel when I came down here a year ago, and I'm gonna miss you, even though you're only here one year. And Phyllis, I have the yearly attendance reports here that you like to do on the daily attendance and your summary. And I have some questions on it. So can you come back in August so we can go over this? Really appreciate that a whole lot. Phyllis, I'm going to miss you immensely. I can't even believe. Could you stay another year? We love you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. In front of my roses, I'll sit in the chair. Can you get me in if I sit in the chair? You bet, I get the whole room here. Get the whole room? You bet. Oh, he's going to scan us. Oh, he's going to scan us? No. What are we going to say? Diane. All right. And then we'll go. What are we going to do right now? We're going to say it's not all together. What? Goodbye, fellas. Happy retirement. Enjoy. Everybody. What are you going to say? Okay. Can we wait a second? Yeah. <laughs> All right. well, Come on in, join the party. Is it, what's this for? Phyllis Watson's retirement. Oh. I'm 9 to D2. So we have to say something nice. Oh, nice. five more minutes. I'm sorry.
That's affirmative. Would you say what Abby retirement will miss you? Is that yeah. good enough? Yeah. And we'll all go. Ole! <laughs> <laughs> Practice for our. Well, I we're, guess we're doing a special little thing for tonight. Uh -huh. and that's what this Ole is all about. Oh, okay. Oh, there's Therese. Oh, Therese. Therese. We're making a video. We're making a video. We're just saying happy retirement. We'll miss you. We'll miss you. We'll miss you. Really. He just passes around. Wait. One. <laughs> On the count of three? Anytime you're ready. Okay. okay. Everybody wait. Happy, Happy retirement. retirement! We'll miss, miss you! Miss you. Hi, Phyllis. Gee, what can I say? We've enjoyed a, a number of years together, and I'll always cherish them. Enjoy your well-deserved retirement. Miss you. Bye-bye. Turn the darn thing on. <laughs> okay, go. Hi, Phyllis. Goodbye, Phyllis. <laughs> Bye, Phyllis. This is it, Phyllis. You need to check out, go home, stay away. <laughs> We're going to miss you. <laughs> Even with your separation anxiety, we Enough. still love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. Anytime you want to start, just say go. Are we really together? Or? Okay. Just, Phyllis, uh, good luck. And let's see. Just good luck and wish you all the best in your retirement. Okay. Okay. Go. Okay. Phyllis, Phyllis, good, good luck. luck. We, we wish, wish you, the you best all the best in your retirement. retirement.
steak. Mmm. That looks good. It is. What do you think? You have the best retirement food. Mm. Your committee did good.
And to start with, we're going to have Mr. Brian Dennis come forward, who has spent a number of years working with Phyllis, building the CORES program here in the Belfire Unified School District, and something that's very special to Phyllis. So, Mr. Dennis? Hey, Brian. Uh, we're going to do two songs for you, Phyllis. The first one I'm sure that you probably remember sitting around the television set and watching the Ed Sullivan show when this song first came out. This is the new, the new 90s version. We won't mention the year. But I'm sitting here with your kids watching it. This is the 90s version. And then nothing will all introduce in just a second.
come back and see us anytime. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <coughs> My name is Ed Shaw, and, and I have the privilege of working with Phyllis currently. And I'd like to welcome all of you here this afternoon for this special occasion. I just need to let you know, uh, if you know Phyllis well, and I imagine you do, unless why else would you be sitting here, <laughs> that uh, Phyllis has a way about her, and I just want to let you know I did get my marching orders today, as did Brian, who will be close emceeing with us. My marching orders from Phyllis were, number one, do not make me cry. <laughs> and number, number two, do not make me angry. <laughs> That's not an easy challenge, but we will try our best. And I don't mind Mr. Brian, Mr. Dennis, if you guys need to tear it down, I'm used to people not listening to me anymore. <laughs> I'd just like to get a, a feel for the audience and who's here today. Um, and since you've had a chance to have something to eat and now you're settled in, I'd like to have those people, like Brian and myself, in the background, we do have some people coming forward a little bit later that will be sharing a lot of information about Phyllis and her history with the district. But a couple of things I think are important to know. Um, Phyllis has quite a history with the Bellflower Unified School District. Uh, it goes back quite a few years where she started at Baxter Elementary and into her current assignment in instructional personnel programs um, here at the district level. Uh, in any position Phyllis has ever held, she's held that with, with pride and distinction, and she takes a lot of pride in the district. One of the things that Phyllis has taken a lot of pride in is the fact that we do have two of our elementary schools in the district that have been named after classmates of hers when she was in school, Washington and Jefferson. <laughs> and, and if you don't believe me, I, I don't know if you would believe me, if you don't believe me, you can ask Mr. Real. He was the principal. <laughs> really glad to see Mr. Real here and speaking of that Phyllis I hope you do take the Kirk Real retirement plan. Um, I don't know about the rest of you but I've seen more Kirk this year since the retirement plan the whole reason in the district seems to be everywhere. And the Instructional Personnel and Programs uh, Division takes that theme very seriously. And uh, Phyllis has been an outstanding team player in making things operate over there. Uh, as I stand here in front of you this afternoon, I'm, I'm re reminded and I feel quite a bit like Sean Harlan. And that name might not mean much to a lot of you, but Sean Harlan is a rookie basketball player for the Chicago Bulls. And earlier this year, in a very important game, a pivotal game about mid-season, um, Sean was called into the game towards the end of the game and was fouled in a tie game and went to the line and made two free throws to win that game. Uh, it just so happened in that same game, uh, on that evening, and right away it was, well, I would be more than happy to do that. <laughs> so I said, well, Okay, fellas, I'd be more than happy to introduce you to let you introduce your family. <laughs> so, she has some very special family and friends here with her this afternoon. And Phyllis, I'm going to bring the microphone to you let you introduce your family. <laughs> Everyone says, 
well, we never seen Tim, and there he is. <laughs> um, very dear friend, Dr. Palmer is with us today. We've adopted him. We love him dearly. And I have um, another very dear friend here who is my grandchildren's nanny, Jeannie. We've adopted her also. And last but not least is probably the best friend of the whole world, my husband Jack. I think throughout the afternoon, as Dr. Shaw alluded, there are going to be several individuals that have the chance to share some of the experiences they've had with Phyllis. And again, my tenure here has been very short, but I think from the standpoint of what I have learned and the guidance and the friendship that has been established in a very quick manner with Phyllis, I'm very thankful for. Uh, I think when you venture out and take a risk and move into a new position, it's always nice to have someone there that is there to reinforce and support you. And she has done that in the most positive manner that I could have asked for coming to the Delphi Unified School District. So, Phyllis, thank you very much. And, you know, we've talked several times. And even though we're here celebrating today, we could say this is just an early birthday party for you since I missed the first one. And, and we can come back and do this again next year. Give me another year. <laughs> At this point in time, we're going to have the opportunity to introduce some very special guests. And to start with, I have um, our board president, Ms. Linda Devine, and Dr. Rebecca Tarantino. First of all, I would like to do the official um, statement in letting everyone know that we will recognize all the retirees at a board meeting, so everyone's welcome to attend, and that will be the official board retirement. But I'm pleased to be here as a friend of Ellis to make a few statements, and I get to do that because I guess I'm board president and I said I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and Becky and Mr. Trump, we'd like to share a couple of words um, together on um, how we feel and some of the things that you've done. I was one of those people who stood up a few minutes ago uh, when we were asked to stand up if we never worked for Phyllis. <laughs> and I would echo what Brian said about being a newcomer in a district. I was new here seven years ago, and Phyllis was one of those very fine <laughs> teammates um, that was here waiting to greet me and to help me when I came into ISD as the assistant superintendent. Phyllis is one of those people on the team who always has a smile, is always friendly, I have never seen her be rude or discourteous to anyone that we've been serving. She's always very professional and very organized and was a wonderful strength in ISD. Some of the other things is um, Phyllis is always there um, when anybody has any problems and will help out with any position that anybody has, whether you're a teacher, whether you're classified, just anybody who would come in that you can always count on Phyllis to help you or find a way to um, make your problems a lot better. Um, I like to, to think of her as a classy lady. Um, we're going to miss her special touches on our different receptions and, and different meetings. Um, she's always there with food for everyone and making sure everything is done right. And she's, um, to me, as a very dedicated person to her family and to all of us as families. My very first year here at Christmas time, Phyllis um, showed me uh, an example of her problem solving, always needing me to step up and be the person who says, I can do that, I can help, I can fix this. And that was at Christmas time. That happened to be a year when our last day of work uh, before Christmas was very close to the holiday. And we have a tradition here at the district office. It's called Angel Tree. And it's an opportunity for all of us who work in the district office to purchase gifts and, and make a nice fa family Christmas for those who are not as fortunate as we are. Phyllis is the person who always organized the Angel Tree and made sure that all of that got taken care of. But there was always one job left over after the nice Christmas party, the lunch that we all have together here in the boardroom on that last day. 
someone has to be sure that the gifts are picked up for the families and that the tree is taken to the family that's been selected to receive the Christmas tree here from the boardroom. That particular Christmas, we were having a terrible windstorm. It was cold, it was windy, it was dirty outside. Uh, we finished our lunch. Everyone was very anxious to get packed up and closed down for the day so that they could go home and begin their holiday with their families. And someone needed to stay here and help uh, with the Christmas gifts and the Christmas tree. And that person, guess who? That was Phyllis. And she was here till I don't know, 5 or 6 o'clock. Um, because they were very, very late picking things up, doing it with a smile, and never complaining, and making sure that others had a nice Christmas. We're almost done. We just have a lot to say. We decided to combine it so we both won't overlap. But one of the other things that Phyllis has done for the district is she was a lifesaver for our attendance. Um, class size reduction was kind of a, um, a tricky um, venture that we all jumped into. And if it was and it's with Phyllis, who needed to keep our numbers right. And she's done this for us, and not just for class size reduction, but for the other classrooms. And always explaining to all of you, you know, you can't just put any student just anywhere. We have to do it. Yeah, just a certain way and the way she would do that she made everybody feel like they weren't the dummy um, even though Rick does have a <laughs> <laughs> stubborn streak and it has to be told several times but some of the principals and secretaries and things um, work with, with Phyllis on a day, daily basis during the first couple of weeks of school and she does it so so kind to everybody that makes you feel that you know you're not making a mistake just you know let me help you and, and do it and without that Brian still has a job because we aren't penalized for going over our numbers. And, um, and, and so that's one of the things that you're you're very helpful that way and the can-do attitude that they appreciate. Brian Dennis said earlier that you were sort of like a mom to him. I think you've sort of been like a mom to all of us, Phyllis. When we were in the instruction department together, we used to eat lunch together on the days that we were all around at lunchtime. And Phyllis always set a very good example of eating healthy. <laughs> she, she is the dieter supreme. She puts all of us to shame. And she was always the one when you come in in the morning, and you know how you have that scarf, and it, you know it's going to look great with this outfit, but you can't quite get it right? Well, Phyllis was always the one that was the first stop in the morning, fixing those details on people's outfits and making sure we were dressed appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that um, Brian mentioned is that she is a team player, and we believe that, and one of the um, examples is the fact that every time summer came and Phyllis was on vacation, we would move her desk. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't because we didn't want Phyllis to be here, it was just that there had to be um, some moves made and she would come back and with a smile and just get right back in and not take it personally that, <laughs> that we were moving your desk and um, that didn't mean we wanted you to retire but um, it's, it's things like that that um, she's part of the team and said okay wherever you put me I'll do the job. Phyllis on behalf of both the board and the district administration we want to thank you for your many many contributions and building futures and you will be so I'd rather be her grandchild. I've <laughs> <laughs> noticed that her grandchildren get everything. Everything that they want. Is that right, family? <laughs> no. our, our next presenters will be uh, Kurt Real and Don Edgington, but I don't want them to get up yet. I'm just giving them warning because at their age it takes a while to get it done. <laughs> Is not laughing. <laughs> uh, Kirk, Kirk and Don, when they received their invitation to the activity today, uh, did see that it was a buffet and they called in to see if we had seen a discount. <laughs> but, but, we know. But, but don't get me wrong, a lot of age jokes here. I do not think that Kirk and Don are old, even though they had cameo roles in Lost World. <laughs> For those of you who don't have kids, Lost World is about dinosaurs. 
Uh, those of you who know Mr. Rio, he's coming up next. Uh, I, I do have uh, precautions for you, kind of settle in, take a deep breath. Uh, we are going to monitor his time. He's here. For real, not a I don't know who wound him up today, but boy, I think they threw away the key. When I was, uh, by the way, Brian and, and Becky, I appreciate the fact that you were new once upon a time because I too was new um, 31 years ago to becoming a principal in this district. And my first assignment was to go to Albert Baxter School as the principal. And Joe, let me tell you that in those days when a school only had 325 students, the principal had two schools. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I not only went to, to Albert Baxter, I also went to a Rogers school as a principal. And fortunately, in those days, I also had two wonderful secretaries. Beth Marquez, who is here today and has been both Phyllis's and my longtime friend. And we depended upon those people, but Beth obviously also needed to depend on those others who were on the school campus because secretaries occasionally get a break and once in a while like to have lunch and from time to time need to go to the bathroom. And in those days when there was only one person in the office, uh, the only way that could be managed and not put the phones on hold was to have somebody step in and fill the void. Phyllis was one of those parents who was at the school every day. Uh, her kids were, at that point in time, all three students at Baxter. Dana was a fourth grader, uh, Tim was a second grader, and Beth was just starting in kindergarten. And so Phyllis was there morning, noon, and night, and, and I have to say also that Jack was there quite a good deal too. Uh, and, and you know, when you talk about Phyllis, you have to kind of talk about Jack. It's sort of a good cop, bad cop kind of situation. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Jack was the president of the PTA, in fact, and you know you don't very often find guys that will be willing to take on the presidency of a PTA. And so one of the first PTA board meetings I went to was at Jack and Phyllis's home when they still lived here in Belfar, up in that Albert Baxter area. Phyllis was one of those people who was there every day, and after about a year, we we inherited some Title I funds that we were going to be able to. Uh, employ some instructional aids, and so we decided as long as Phyllis was there every day, we might as well put her on the payroll, and then at least I could evaluate her. <laughs> and so um, Phyllis was hired uh, and, and came to work for the district back in 1957, and 67. Yeah. I said 57, and I meant 67. All of a sudden, I thought, oh, that's really making its all. <laughs> Phyllis, I will make no claim to you having been my mother. Those in the audience that know my mother would understand why I was making no claim to that. Uh, but Phyllis has been one of those people that every principal, and she went through six of them in her years at Baxter uh, before moving to the district office, every principal for whom she worked and for they worked for her would pin and count on her because she was, as has been said, always one of those people who would go the extra mile, do the extra task. More than once, she's kept me out of deep doo-doo with the district office from having uh, balanced our uh, enrollment figures correctly. I remember when I first went to William or to Woodruff, Sue Williams asked me whose class to put this new sixth grade child in. I said it won't matter because Phyllis is going to decide anyway because she's the one that's looking at the big broad chart and she's the one who's going to tell us where that child needs to go. Phyllis, it indeed will not be the same. Uh, I, you know, have enjoyed. Uh, being able to pop in, and I have a cup in the closet in Phyllis's office, so I can have my own personal coffee cup when I come to visit. Uh, the Hershey chocolates are always in the little basket up on the shelf, and if she happens to be out of the dark, semi-sweet chocolates, she reaches into the drawer and pulls out the full bag, and pulls out the kind I like, and we just, those personal touches, those little things that Phyllis does almost without thinking, and certainly without anyone asking her to are the things that we're going to remember you for. You will be missed. Best to you in return.
get used to it because at the end of this month, I will take over Joe Stitt's position as the oldest administrator. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I was trying to think of things to say about Phyllis, and um, one of the first things that came to mind was the two words, can do. No matter what came to our office, Phyllis always said, we can do that. She never said, we can't. I'm like, look at you. <laughs> Sometimes she kind of tilted her head and raised her eyebrow, and that kind of indicated, do you really think we can do this? <laughs> but we had, I have a number of examples, like the time we had six mentors, and then uh, we had an additional allocation of 19 mentors, so we had two mentor selections in one year, which is quite a long process. But Phyllis said, we can do it, and we did it. Um, after Becky came to the district, um, before that, Phyllis and I had been in charge of elementary curriculum only, and Becky came and did some reorganization, and then we had elementary and secondary curriculum, and we said, we can do it. <laughs> and we learned a lot about the secondary schools. One of the other things was the first site-based staff development day. And for the teachers in the audience, remember we had it at uh, the Baptist Church, and each of the teachers got to select two um, workshops that they could go to, and the third one they were going to uh, review publishers' materials, and we had to get the AV equipment up there, and we had to get people assigned to their first and second choices, and it was quite a long process. We had these papers all spread out across the uh, conference room table, but we did it, and nobody complained about um, which sessions they got. I think one of the biggest can-do things was the time that we bought those um, kind of bookshelf things for the closet in there. <laughs> they had about nine shelves and about four vertical kind of pieces that went together, and it came in pieces, of course, not put together. And we decided that we could put this together. First of all, Mr. Davis came in and he said, you know, you really could put in a work order to have that done for you. But Phyllis and I said, we can do it. <laughs> and then Bob came down from his upstairs office for uh, where he was working with computers and he said, you know, I have to go fix some computers at one of the schools, but if you give me an hour or so, I'll come back and I'll do that for you. And we said, nope, we can do it. Uh, Kirk came by. And he said, you know, I don't think you have the right tools for this. You better wait and ask Jack what we need to have for this job. <laughs> we said, we can do it. <laughs> and we worked and we worked and we worked. And we got those shelves together. There was only one shelf that was on backwards. But it was going in the closet. We weren't going to take it apart. <laughs> but we did it. And there's just numerous examples of Phyllis's can-do attitude. The second thing I thought about was humor. She always had a good sense of humor. She enjoyed a good joke. We couldn't wait for Kirk to come down and see us every day with his newest joke of the day. Um, she also could see the humor in some other situations. And sometimes those situations got so humorous that she would have to retreat to the little closet by her desk <laughs> and laugh in there all by herself because we couldn't laugh in front of the people. And one of those incidents was when um, a maintenance worker was trying to fix a light in our office and he had a 12-foot ladder for a 10-foot ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and Phyllis and I kept telling him, you know, a shorter ladder would probably help. But he wasn't listening to us. He was kind of looking at us like, what do you people know? And finally, we just watched and watched and Phyllis just couldn't stand it anymore. She had to retreat to the closet. <laughs> with the man, and by that time the fire department was there also telling him that he really needed a, a shorter ladder to do this job. But besides having a good sense of humor, she has a good humor. She's always positive, she's pleasant, she's smiling, she treats the people that come down here and yell and scream. She always is nice to them and smiles and is gracious. And so good humor is one of the other attributes of Phyllis. Now, uh, Kirk wouldn't claim her as his mother, and I'm not either. I'm going to claim her as another sister. <laughs> Phyllis is from a family of five sisters. <laughs> Don't look at me. 
<laughs> and I'm from a family of four sisters. So we got along really well right from the beginning. As Becky was telling you about the fashion police, um, she served as the fashion police for us. She told us if we had runs in our stockings, she helped us fix our scarves. She, every morning I'd have to have her, you know, if I had a necklace on, she'd have to fasten, fasten my jewelry because I couldn't do it myself. Um, just last week I went into her office, I had a dress with a bow in the back. I said, Phyllis, I think this bow's off center, so she had to center my bow for me. <laughs> so, um, I think of her as another sister. She told me I had to be happy, so what the next things I'm going to say, she doesn't have to listen to. But she is a friend, she's dependable, she's loyal, she's trustworthy, she's honest, and she's caring. She's on the receiving end. She doesn't like it very much. I wonder why. Um, I understand, Jack, you're not going to retire, though. You're going to take continue working. Well, I don't know about that. I think she's going to have a lot more honeydews for you to do at home. <laughs> Either that or she's going to be the partner in your truck driving around. <laughs> well, Phyllis, um, what has been said today has just been wonderful. Uh, there's nothing I can add to it other than the um, opportunity that I've had to be involved with you. Not working for you, um, kind of, well, I don't know, I have to receive direction from you before. Um, I, I think everybody in this audience probably has been told what to do sometimes. Um, again, uh, when we have a count problem and we have to move the students around and what class they're going to be in, um, You've been quite involved with that process, as well as everything going on in this district office. I, I tell you, um, your name comes up and, and everybody smiles. They just love you. And this is just a, a token of our appreciation and what it says in the recognition of 26 years of outstanding service as a classified employee of the Belfar Unified School District, CSEA, Chapter 32, June 11, 1990. I'm not very good at this, and I'm pretty emotional right now, but we'd like to thank all of you for being here this afternoon. Dr. Shah, did you have any closing remarks you'd like to make before I turn this over to Phyllis? Okay. I'm through. I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Johnson got all my good lines about, you know, getting us dressed, but I want you to know I do match. Okay? <laughs> now my hair is okay, I Jack's always teased me that I work for Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll deal with that in the nicest way. <laughs> <laughs> the people I work with and the environment. And I loved it. I was happy to go every day. And you know, it has been Disneyland and it's been an e ride. <laughs> Thank you. 